Hello everyone, this is Dan Gramsci and welcome to Gramsci Market Studies for Monday, October 10th. Well, I was looking for some dramatic moves on Friday. I expected some more bullish action, but we didn't get that. Basically, all the labor numbers came out and we're seeing a very muted reaction in terms of the NASDAQ market. Very balanced type behavior. We do have earnings coming out next week and I do expect some volatility and again from my point of view I'm still biased to the upside. Let's take a look at that dollar though. And what we can see with the euro it did come back. In fact it traded above that bullish level. The magnitude change between the bullish and bearish level in that market is $287.50 a contract. Just to give you an idea of what that represents I do look for an update on Monday for that market. And if we take a look at Japanese yen, well, it traded above its bullish level, and the magnitude change between the bearish and bullish level there is $2,875. I do look for follow through for that market to the upside on Monday as well. And the 10 year notes. We may have gotten low enough to find that buying. Can we get a transition here? I'm looking for a sideways move on Monday. For Monday to stay inside of Friday's range. And now in the metals, uh, gold's I think behaving as it should. It stopped to take a breath. I look for more of that type of action. It is a potentially bullish setup. I'm not bullish on that market right now. But you know what we did see is we saw that copper traded above its bullish level and the magnitude change here for that one penny, one full penny is $250 a contract. I look for a sideways move in that market. And in crude oil, well I also, you know, I've been apprehensive about this market. I do look for a down move on Monday but not a dramatic move lower in that market. Let's take a look at soybeans. You know, and as we talked about or maybe that was in the advanced video but I think we talked about it. Uh, this was a very bullish setup. And what we saw on Friday, well, we did see follow through to the upside, but it failed to hold on as it backed off. I look for a sideways to lower move on Monday. Well, that concludes today's market studies. Thank you for being with me. I look forward to being with you again. And as always, take care.